of France, the defending champion, in lane three. Cathy Freeman of Australia in fourth. Ogun Koya of Nigeria in five. Yusuf of Nigeria in six. Sandy Richards of Jamaica in seven. And Joel Miles of the United States in lane eight. Well, Ogunkoy has gone off very quickly and so has uh, Yusuf and uh, Sandy Richards also closing down Joel Miles and Perrick now starting to get into a stride up on the shoulder of the Australian Cathy Freeman as they go into the back straight. Right on the outside, Yusuf going well. And so is Ogunkoya, the two Nigerians. And Perrick now starting to make some headway on Freeman now as they go into the bend and Perrick and Freeman and outside her Ogunkoya, the big three, Ogunkoya going well. Yusuf. The Nigerian putting pressure on, but here comes Perek in lane three. Kathy Freeman behind her, Perek leading, Freeman in second place, Pauline Davis of the Harmers is there, Ogun Koya is there, but Perek is coming home to take the Olympic title once again. Perek gets it, Freeman in second place, Ogun Koya in third, Davis in fourth, 48.26, a new Olympic record, and the big smile signals the first woman in history to defend a title over 400 metres. Well, Kathy Freeman did everything she could. The time, the fastest in the world for a decade. A brilliant defence by Marie Jose Perec. The Nigerians battled in the lanes outside, but the real fight between Perec and Freeman was going on in lanes three and four. It was a brilliant piece of running to 300 metres by both Perec and Freeman. But the tall, powerful French woman had what it took when it mattered. Ogun Kerrick had the advantage. She watched Freeman all the way. The Australian, fourth last year in the World Championships, has emerged this year as a real threat. And she pressured and pressured and pressured. But Perrick had the stature, had the strength, had the fortitude to retain her title. The Commonwealth record held by Cathy Cook of Britain has finally gone. Relaxed, flowing, sheer perfection. Beric defends a title.